So we're installing a floor on the interior of the cottage this week. We're going to do a poured concrete slab. And the first thing we've done is we've dug out several inches from the interior of the building and we've leveled off the sand on the whole interior. And we have about three inches of gravel to lay in here today. And we're gonna compact that gravel down, which will also compact the sand down underneath, giving us a nice solid base for our concrete slab. And then on top of the rock, we're gonna do a vapor barrier and then lay some wire mesh, which will help reinforce the concrete slab. And then the concrete slab will be, be about four inches and come up flush with these um, the doorways here. And so we'll have a nice concrete floor in here. You could put anything over that concrete floor. It could be wood, it could be tile, it could be pretty much anything. So um, if you want to have any kind of floor, this, um, this is one way you could do it. If you want to do an earthen floor too, you could do a very similar method here. But instead of putting the four inches of concrete, you'd be doing four inches of earthen floor. So there it's too high, so I'm going to remove a little bit of this. I'm talking about floors I wanted to talk a little bit about the foundations because that's going to determine how you install your floor so in this case we have a stem wall foundation it's about a foot above grade and the interior of the building is hollowed out so it's pretty much empty inside and so now we're doing the floor after the whole um, structure is completed and we're, we're digging out the sand and installing the floor. 
the other way to do it is just to pour a, um, a one piece stem wall foundation with the slab. So in that case, you would not have these door openings. The foundation would just go clear across and your slab would be flush with the top of the foundation. So the whole interior would already have a slab in it at this level. And that can work for a cob building, um, works especially well for rammed earth buildings. Sometimes it's nice with a cob building to have that exterior and interior stem wall to work off of because you can use that as a guide to trim your walls up. You don't need that so much with a rammed earth wall since you have the formwork. But again, there's many ways you can do foundations. In this case, if you want to just do a stem wall under the perimeter of the building, under the walls, you can install the floor later. Otherwise, you can just pour it all as one piece and have the slab done from the very start.